Dependencies are the relationships among tasks which determine the order in which activities need to be performed. Task dependencies is one of the best features of Gantt Excel. Teams with collaborative workflows can easily see what tasks they're waiting on from others and know when to get started on their portion of work. To demonstrate task dependencies, I have created a simple project, Build a Wall. I have four simple tasks. Buy bricks, begin laying bricks, apply concrete, and paint wall. Click on the Begin Laying Bricks task and select the Edit button in the Gantt menu. The Dependencies section is shown on the right side of the Task Details form. Click on the Task Field dropdown and select the task that you would like to make this task dependent on. In this case, I will set the predecessor task as Buy Bricks. Select the type of dependency. We have four types available in Gantt Excel. If you want to understand more about the types of dependencies, please click on the link in the description. For now, I will select the Finish to Start dependency. This is the most common type and logically driven dependency in project management and everyday life. This means only if I finish the task of buying bricks, only then can I start the task of laying bricks. Lag is the overlap or delay for the successor of a task dependency. Let's skip this for now. I will explain this in a minute. Click on the Add button to add the dependency. Click the OK button for now. This will set a task dependency between the two tasks. Click on the Settings button in the Gantt menu. Click on the Show Connectors button. You will now see the dependency lines in the timeline. Please note that the task start date for Begin Laying Bricks is now set to the next day after Buy Bricks, and the timeline bar has moved accordingly. Let's set another task dependency. I want the task Apply Concrete to start simultaneously as the task Begin Laying Bricks. So basically, I lay a few bricks and apply concrete to complete the wall. Double click the task Apply Concrete. Set the predecessor task as Begin Laying Bricks and the dependency type to Start to Start. In simple words, we can say that the start of a successor activity is dependent on the start of the predecessor activity. Click the Add button to add the dependency and the OK button to update the task. You will now see the new dependency line connecting the two tasks, and both tasks start at the same time. Perfect. Let's go ahead and set another task dependency to finish up. Select the Paint Wall task. Right-click and select the Edit Task option. Select the Apply Concrete task and set the Finish to Start dependency, which means I can paint the wall only after I apply concrete. But this time, I will set a lag of 5 days as I would like to paint the wall only after the concrete dries up. Click the Add button and then the OK button. You will now see the Paint Wall task will start 5 days after the Apply Concrete task ends, instead of the very next day. Please note that in this case, I have set the Work Off days as Saturday and Sunday, so the dependency calculations do consider Work Off days and holidays. The beauty of using task dependencies is that you can adjust your plan easily if you change the predecessor dates. For example, let's say that the weather report is predicting a lot of rain in late July, and I want to start building the wall in early August. So I just need to set the task start date of the first task to 3rd August. And voila! The whole project plan updates automatically. If I hadn't set task dependencies, then I would have to set the task start dates manually for each task, taking up a whole lot of my time. So that's it for this video. Task dependencies are very useful, and I hope you integrate task dependencies in your project, which will help you in planning and scheduling your project tasks. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or feature requests, please share them in the comments below. Kindly like and share this video. Also, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.